the overarching definition of a pragmatic trial is that it produces the types of evidence um, that are needed, that's needed by decision makers. Um, and the characteristics of pragmatic trials include things like fewer exclusion criteria so that the results are uh, generalizable to a wider population, um, um, larger sample sizes um, that are um, represent diverse clinical settings, interventions that are easy to implement in a clinical setting. Um, those are just a few of the characteristics of a pragmatic trial. I think that there's um, really a growing um, acceptance and awareness that the types of evidence that are produced by pragmatic trials are, are really important and currently missing um, in a lot of healthcare decision making, um, that there's a lot to be gained um, from conducting more um, pragmatic trials and from um, uh, creating a healthcare system where pragmatic trials can be done more quickly and efficiently. One example of, of an initiative to um, advance pragmatic clinical trials in healthcare systems is the NIH uh, Healthcare Systems Research Collaboratory, um, which is funding um, seven demonstration and pragmatic trials. And in addition to uh, the collaboratory supporting um, the um, development and execution of those trials, it's really working to um, extract some generalizable knowledge of the types of challenges um, that arise when you are implementing pragmatic trials in healthcare delivery systems um, and creating a large knowledge repository that future researchers will be able to use that are um, designing and conducting pragmatic trials. Part of the goal of the NIH Collaboratory is to address the, the many barriers that come into play when um, you try to implement pragmatic trials within healthcare delivery systems and those include um, issues concerning uh, ethics and the types of informed consent that are needed for these trials, issues concerning building the um, appropriate data infrastructure and um, electronic health records, um, issues concerning the study design and statistical analysis for pragmatic trials, um, and you know, uh, producing the proper incentives um, for patients and providers and healthcare systems to feel that it's worth their while to participate in these trials.